Sight Bites. Answers to questions from the Next Bite website. Brought to you by Purina. <laughs> this week's Sight Bite question comes from Dan in Michigan. Now Dan says he does a lot of trolling for walleyes with crankbaits on the Great Lakes, but he wants to know what he needs to get set up for open water spinners. That's a real interesting question, and it's actually pretty generalized. So what you want to do, first of all, is look for your lake. Any lake with a flats area. The flats could be 10 feet deep all the way up to 40 or 50 feet deep. That's where you get started. Okay, now the, the type of setup for our spinner fishing, our open water spinner fishing, is a little bit different than what we use on structure. And I took the liberty to basically tie one of these rigs up ahead of time. The first thing, or the first component that you're going to troll with is a weighting system. Nightcrawler harness spinners do not go down deep on their own, so you have to take them down. And this is a, a lot of guys call them fish weights, they're XPS trolling sinkers. Uh, all they are is a holographic fish shape, but it's a weight system that you attach to your line going to your rod. This actually, depending on how much line you drop down, this actually will take your spinner to the desired depth. Then I'll use basically a, a fluorocarbon. I like to use 14 or 15 pound test. And I'll tie a leader, and this is a, one of the longer leaders that I'll tie. The leader itself here is probably three to four feet long. Then you get down to your terminal tackle end, the business end of things. Uh, you have your blade, and the blades that you're gonna use will be Colorado's and Indiana's most of the time. Uh, you will use choppers and hatchets occasionally. Uh, sizes are gonna be a little bigger than normal spinners. Usually you're gonna go with a size number four up to a size number six, sometimes in specialized cases with real big fish, sevens and eights. I like to use a holographic body. Uh, it's simple, I slide one piece on, it works very well. They're colored, they're shaped like fish, they spin on the line, they work very effectively. I'll lead off my open water spinners with a single hook as the first hook and usually a size number two. That's the hook that I hook into the nose of the night crawler. Then I'll leave a space of about four inches back to a triple grip treble hook and the treble hook sizes that I use will be a size number eight or a size number six like we see here, uh, depending again on the size of walleyes that you're trying to target and that, that treble hook is inserted about midway through the crawler. Now, since we're talking about getting started and beginning, uh, how do you know what depths to go? Well, there is a book out there called Precision Angling. They're going to come out with a brand new edition coming up here this year, and that book actually has the trolling weight depths in it, so it's definitely a, a book you'll want to look up. As you progress with your open water spinner fishing, you're going to have more questions. There's other weighting systems. So hopefully this will get you started on your way to catching a lot of walleyes. You know, you can get your questions answered, you can read tips and articles, get involved in the forum page, all on the Next Bite website. Real fishing information from real fishing experts.